Good morning or good afternoon, uh, my Collins Cougars. Um, what I'd like to focus on this week is formatting a document. Many of you have sent me beautiful poems that were formatted amazingly well, but some of you are not using some of the tools in our toolbar to best format your particular poems. So when you write a poem, you can start writing it right away and you don't have to worry about any formatting. You might just want to dive in there and start writing. So I'm going to write an April haiku. Okay, so you go to the top and you name it. And you may want to think about things in April. Okay, April is rainy. April is rainy. That is five syllables. Perfect. So I hit enter and I go to the next line. Um, you can say rain brings us lots of flowers. Rain brings us lots of flowers. Seven syllables. And I can say, I guess it's worth it. So there I have a haiku. I'm getting from some of you basically something that looks like this. Is that haiku? Sure, but we can jazz it up. We can make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to increase my font to, let's say, 24. I am going to center everything. This is where some of you are having a hard time. If you select everything, I'm going to hit Control A and everything selected. You can do anything that will affect all of the text. So in your toolbar, you're going to go to center a line. That's the second set of lines that you see. Now everything's centered. I particularly like a certain font, so I'm gonna change it. You can change it to anything you want. I'm gonna use Century Gothic, which you guys may have noticed I use all the time. So, so far so good. With your title, you want to select it, and you want to bold it, and you want to underline it. Perfect. Now, I want to go to the next line and add my byline, but I don't want my byline bolded or underlined. So I'm going to turn it off by clicking on it like a light switch. Now you'll notice that my byline will not be bolded or underlined because those are not selected. And I'm going to write by Mrs. Stafford. Now, this doesn't look bad, but you never want your name, you never want your byline to be the same size as your text. You always want it smaller. Look at a newspaper, you'll see what I mean. So if I select my name, I'm going to make it a much smaller font, like maybe 12. Perfect. Now, one of the other things that bothers me about when kids type their bylines, you never need a colon. Look at any title page of any book and you'll notice authors don't use them. So I don't expect you guys to use them either. So it's just by and then your name, no colon. Now in the middle here, you want to add an image. You can do it a couple of ways. You can go to, up to your toolbar and click insert image and then maybe you have one on your computer or maybe you want to search the web. You can also have your cursor where you want the image to go. Click on this little insert image that looks like a set of mountains. And I'm going to search the web. And since my poem is about rain and April, I'm just going to type, I'm going to type the word April and see what I get.
whoops, I was in the wrong place. Make sure your cursor is up here so you don't make that same mistake. Okay, and I'm seeing all kinds of things about April. Now, if you notice, this one has rain and it has flowers. You know what? That might really work for me. So I'm going to select it. It's likely to be huge. Don't worry. Watch. I insert. Now, that's a little too big. I'm going to go to the top corner and click on the blue square. And I'm going to bring the top right square to meet the bottom left square. I think that's probably pretty good. And I need to just move it. I'm going to hit Control X and I'm going to put it down here because I had my cursor in the wrong place. And I hit Control V and voila, it's moved. Now, one of the other formatting pieces I want to show you is that if you select your image, up here are some things where you can add a frame. This one here, but you notice it disappears when I get out of the image. You don't see it up here anymore. I select the image, and you're going to see some options to edit your image. So I'm going to select this one, this border weight here. And the higher you go, the thicker your border. So here's two, and you see it's about that thin. If I click it again, and I go to four, you'll notice the difference. I'm going to make my border a different color. I select here, and I'm going to go for, how about a green? Okay, ah, I don't like the green so much. Select it again, and I'm going to choose purple. Okay, so we went from our text on the left and it wasn't very large and there was no bold and underlined title there was no byline there was no image what i really want you to focus on this week is work on formatting your poem and please 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 when you are done hit the share button and share it with me when you click share you're just going to start typing S-S-T-A, and you'll see my name pop up. You'll see my first name is Sheila, and that's who you want. And then you'd hit send. I'm not sending it to myself since I wrote it. Okay, so please format your poem. Thanks, guys. Miss you.